Hi, Bruce Pepich from the Racine Art Museum again, talking about another woman artist in our contemporary craft collection. These are examples of the work of the ceramic sculptor Nancy Y. Adams. Nancy was born in San Francisco in 1948, and she continues to live and work in San Francisco today. She creates wheel-thrown vessels out of porcelain, which she then carves. So you get a surface that's very textured, captures light and shadow, and often is striated, suggesting wind blowing across sand in the desert or the trunks of a tree. They're glazed, although they look hand-painted because they're so subtly and gradiently displaying hues. And they're depicting reptiles from either arid climates like deserts or rainforests. So there are frogs and lizards. Now she's very interested in the role animals have played in mythology of the Greek people and the Egyptians, and also the use of animals in Native American religions. And so these animals have sometimes spiritual or naturalist connections for her. To give you an idea, the animals are, the reptiles are each created in three dimensions, and they are specifically placed on each ceramic vessel. They're formed and situated in such a way that they accentuate the shape of the pot. They drape languidly over a surface. They rise up to help catch the light and reflect it onto a carved area. They reach over a lip to call attention to a cut that she's made in it. They come up the side of a vessel that looks like a tree trunk to which she has applied twigs, leaves, and flowers. Nancy also works in miniature scale. We have three examples down in the front here that have both frogs and lizards on them. And it shows how adept she is at creating in a variety of scale on the wheel. To learn more about Nancy and work by other women ceramic artists, please visit our website, ramart.org. Thank you.